Now again when you have these information, these information have to be classified into uh, different levels of uh, security. So what I mean here is we can have three levels of uh, classification of uh, information. For example, we can have something uh, which is sec uh, secure between two people. So it can be called say confidential information and some information that is secure between only a group, a group of people. So that let us call it uh, say a secret and there is some information which is secure only to an organization. Now let us look at examples of it. So if there are two people who are uh, say a HR person is talking to a uh, employee and it is something confidential about uh, the employee. So it is a uh, confidential communication that is happening between the HR and the employee. So it is only confidential between those two. Now the other uh, level could be there is a particular team which is working and that team has some say uh, user access uh, information about the client that they serve. Now this information has to be shared within the team but should not leave the team. So you can classify this information using some keyword for the entire team. But finally now say now we have some information which is relevant for the entire organization. So that it is available to the entire organization. So that can be classified at the organization level. So here we can uh, have keywords for each of the type of classif classification of the information and while communicating we can use these keywords to ensure that this communication belongs to a certain uh, level of classification. So now we look at what we mean by access control. So we saw that uh, in classification information and in defense in depth uh, certain information which is only only supposed to be available to certain set of people and how do we determine that these are the set of people or are they allowed to look at this information. So here is where access control comes in. So access control has three things in it. It is called identification, authentication and authorization. So what identification means I am trying to tell who I am. So say I am an employee of the company. So how do I identify myself? By showing my I card or I have certain credentials or uh, say certain uh, employee ID that I have. So I can be identified with that as I am a employee of this company. The second part is authentication. So by authentication we mean is I am who I claim to be. That means that if I am an employee of this company and I am the holder of this I card, maybe there is a pin with the I card or if you have a username from the company or the employee ID from the company, you have a password. And since you know the password, you can claim that you are the person. And in these days, we have a lot of different methods of uh, authentication. We have biometric authentication where you can use uh, fingerprints, you can use iris scanners and a lot of that. And the third part is authorization. So now I have proven that I am an employee of the company and I am the person who I am, who I claim to be, but am I authorized to look at this information? So authorization actually determines the kind of access levels that you have. For example, now if I am an employee of the company who works in a certain team which provides information about the human resource. So the human resource employee is authorized to look at human resource data of a company. Whereas if I am an employee who works say at a different department, say the networking department, now I am authorized to look at what are the kind of information that are going around in the network say for security reasons, but I am not authorized to look at the personal data which the HR uh, person is authorized to. So like this we can have different authorizations for different set of information. So by access control we mean we have to identify that the person belongs to th that particular organization, we have to authenticate, we, uh, we have to ensure that he claims who he or she is and finally in authorization they have the authority to look at that particular information.